Most of your language you use quite automatically and unconsciously. You can't think about every word and its meaning in detail. However, there are a few words that at first glance don't seem negative at all, but are nonetheless unproductive and can harm your career. The five words you should not use if you want to be successful, we tell you in this video. Number one, sorry. Of course, this is not about apologizing if you really messed up. That apology is entirely appropriate. However, there is another I'm sorry. Many people apologize really often, even though there is actually no reason. This behavior can also have a negative impact on how you come across to your colleagues and boss. In our working lives, we often encounter this type of apology in the form of phrases like sorry, I couldn't spend more time on this or sorry to steal your time, but I have a suggestion. Often an actually good thing is dragged down by an unnecessary apology. This can lead to you being perceived as an insecure person in your company. Listen carefully to your counterpart and provide a solution rather than an apology. Number 2, No Matter. You can completely delete this word from your vocabulary. It has no use and is counterproductive. If someone in the company asks you for your opinion, you should try to form an opinion about it, or at least explain why you have difficulties with it. By saying I don't care, you take away your own right to have a say. The less you get involved in the company's decisions, the less decision makers will have you on their radar. Number 3, Try. Do it or don't do it. There is no such thing as trying. Okay, will try means nothing more than that you're doing something, but you don't really think you can do it. Instead, say we'll do it. What is the point of formulating doubt if you have already decided to do something? Rather formulate in lines. Instead of, we are trying to conquer the Polish market rather, our goal is to conquer the Polish market. Who do you think your boss would be more likely to promote? Someone who always tries to do things, or someone who does them? Number 4, Sometime. Of course, there are always things to which you cannot assign a concrete date. In this case you should try to define other parameters that describe when something will be done. For example, as soon as the current project is finished or if a new employee joins the company. Find the reason why the project can't be scheduled and name it. By the way, the same applies to maybe and could. And number 5, good. The saying nice is the little brother of shit is probably already familiar to you. It is similar with the word good. When you're asked for your opinion, use another word that says what you're saying a little more succinctly. If you're all good all the time, your feedback will be drowned out. And if you're very attached to that word, try using good because. Eliminate these five words from your vocabulary to avoid putting your career in jeopardy. If you also want to know how to increase your productivity, check out the video we're linking to here. There we give you the nine best tips. If you like the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.